Oh. Okay, so since gumawa nga ako ng video tungkol sa RX 580, uh, yung performance niya ngayon 2023, how it fares well. As nakita niyo naman sa previous video ko, it holds up pretty damn well for a 6-year-old graphics card. Ngayon naman is gagawan ko ng video ang RTX 3060, which in my opinion is probably ang best value na graphics card ngayon. Considering yung prices ng mga RTX 3060 ngayon is nag average na ng 20k. And kaya ko din nasabi na ito yung best value na graphics card ngayon is... Way back in 2021, uh, which is actually the same year na nirelease yung RTX 3060, is ang bili ko pa dito, 33K. Ngayon, mabibili mo na ngayon to for 20K as sobrang nag-cool down na or parang nag-normalize na yung prices na mag-graphics card ngayon. And kung noon para sa 30K na price tag ng 3060, um, it offers okay value. Yung performance na nakukuha mo mula sa 3060, Pero since 20k na yung price tag niya ngayon, it offers insane value. Kasi you can actually play 4k well over 60fps at even the most demanding AAA titles. Yes, kasama na dyan uh, Cyberpunk or Red Dead Redemption 2. And ang main reason kung bakit kaya itong gawin ng RTX 3060 is because of DLSS. And siguro may mga mag-complain dyan sa technicality. Yung technicality na yun is... Uh, sa DLSS kasi is nararadius niya din at the same time yung overall picture quality sa mga games na nalaro mo. To be honest, I don't really care. DLSS works well. It works great. Um, kaya nga magagamit mo yung 3060 in AAA titles at 4K. And ang main reason kung bakit nasasabi ko ito para sa RTX 3060 na ito nga yung best value na graphics card ngayon, hindi actually ako masyadong knowledgeable sa AMD side, yung mga more recent na release ng graphics cards ng AMD. So, focus nga lang sa NVIDIA ngayon. Okay, so quick specs lang para sa RTX 3060. So, this has 3,584 CUDA cores, meron tong 1,320 MHz base clock, and 1,780 MHz boost clock. And to be honest, before this video is hindi ko actually alam na meron palang uh, variant yung RTX 3060 with 8 gigs of VRAM pero apparently meron pala. Akala ko kasi yung 3060 only has one uh, memory configuration and that's with uh, 12 gigs of VRAM. So yung specific unit na nasa akin is yung Palit RTX 3060 Dual with 12 gigs of VRAM GDDR6 on a 192-bit bus. And of course, para sa mga additional specs and features ng RTX 3060, is uh, pwede nyo nalang i-check out sa NVIDIA. And ang gusto ko sa specific na Palit RTX 3060 na meron ako, isang naglalight up dito is yung GeForce RTX. And hindi yung logo nila tulad ng ibang kumpanya. And ito na nga tayo sa benchmarks natin. And of course, huge shout out sa TV namin sa labas, which allows me to do benchmarks not only in 1440p, but 4K as well. And sa lahat ng game benchmark na makikita nyo ngayon is uh, nakaset sila sa high settings with DLSS turned on to ultra performance. So yung focus ko para sa mga games na to is a good combination of eye candy and solid performance. So unang una is Cyberpunk 2077 and ito nga yung settings niya. Sa 4K na ako ako ng average na 70 FPS with a 1% low of 58 FPS. Sa 1440p naman is 109 FPS average with a 1% low of 76 FPS. Sa 1080p naman is 128 average FPS with a 1% low of 87 FPS. So far, pretty insane performance lalo na in 4K. Next game naman is Red Dead Redemption 2 and ito nga yung graphics settings natin. So in 4K, nakakuha nga ako ng average na 70fps with a 1% low of 50fps. In 1440p naman, an average of 105fps with a 1% low of 79fps. And in 1080p, 126 average fps with a 1% low of 91fps. Sa Shadow of the Tomb Raider naman, ito yung graphic settings natin. In 4K, an average of 102 FPS with a 1% low of 87 FPS. 1440p, 150 average FPS with a 1% low of 129 FPS. And in 1080p, an average of 193 FPS with a 1% low of 151 FPS.
And last title for today is Forza Horizon 5 and ito nga yung graphic settings natin. At 4K average of 98fps with a 1% low of 78fps, 1440p naman an average of 153fps with a 1% low of 111fps, and in 1080p naman an average of 187fps with a 1% low of 125fps. And sa mga results na to is mapapaisip ka na lang ba't pa ako bibili ng more expensive graphics cards if uh, something like sa RTX 3060 nga is makukuha man ang gantong performance. And yeah, pretty insane na yung performance na RTX 3060 for 20K. And siguro for esports titles is uh, medyo overkill tong RTX 3060. So if naghanap ka ng graphics card ngayon and nasa 20K ang budget mo, and mainly ang nalara mo siguro is Valorant CSGO ganun, is yeah, medyo overkill pa actually tong RTX 3060 para sa'yo. And lastly, pagdating naman sa temps ng specific na RTX 3060 ko, Ang max temp ko is 75 degrees Celsius and the max power draw of 169 to 170 watts. And in reality is hindi mo ma-achieve yung mga results na to without DLSS. So ayun, DLSS is pretty insane. So really ang main question sa video na to is the RTX 3060 worth it in 2023? Well yes, obviously yes para sa price na 20k is uh, para sa akin nga ang RTX 3060 is the best value na graphics card ngayon. If gusto nyo din bumili ng sarili nyong RTX 3060, is I'll leave the links in the description of this video. Of course, leaving a like is the easiest way to support the channel. Uh, consider subscribing if you like my content and turn on notifications for all so you'll be updated on my latest videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace! Still got a cheddar